Hello there, folks, and welcome to the stream. My name is Mike D'Angelo, a.k.a. That Telus Guy. Uh, I have the air conditioner running in the back today just because I got home kind of late after a, uh, like a work event. So if it's bothering anybody, just let me know and I'll turn it off. Um, for now, I just wanted to uh, have that going so that it uh, didn't get too sweltering in here and have me acting all silly and making all kinds of strange noises. Um, all right, so we are taking a look at the second floor of the... Um, Forgotten Keep, South Wing. So we've already done most of the work of the first floor, so we can already see kind of what we have. Um, basically, what we're doing with this uh, this second floor is working our way up to the roof of this building. So what we're going to do is kind of keep most of this stuff looking the same. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to my map real quick. So you can see we're going to lose that top room I think what we'll do is a variant that has these components over here, um, and we fill in this little area here. So nothing too crazy, um, but let me switch some of this around so I can see what's happening in the chat occasionally. Um, so you can already see I did a little bit of work uh, around here. Um, I, take, uh, I took this area out a little bit so that we have this piece. I don't know why we lost something here. I feel like I want to put a portal back, and I don't know if that's a possibility. It certainly looks like you can take them away, but it doesn't look like you can put them back. Let me see if there's some other stuff that I can do here. Let's see if I can just bring this up further. No? No, we don't play that? Okay, well, I have an easy solution for that. It's called grabbing this piece and just moving it down. There you go. Blends in rather nicely. Can barely tell. Um, all right, so you'll also see that I closed the, uh, the little gaps over here so that we don't have to worry about those. Um, we are going to have to make some adjustments in these areas. We know that we're not going to have any like rooms like this. We're probably going to additionally change the style of the wall because um, we don't really need that kind of wall structure anymore. I think what we would do instead is let's go in here real quick and see if there's something that we can find. Um, I'm thinking something more like castle walls. So we would do something like that. Um, let's see. We're going to adjust that for everything, and I'll see how much I like it. We might have to make additional adjustments, but um, let's leave that alone for now just so that we can deal with some of this other crazy stuff first. All right, so like we said, we know that we're not going to have anything up here anymore. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, keep that. Lose the door. So the whole point of the this floor of the castle is when, you know what, we're just gonna let's get rid of everything and we'll just kind of close it up as we go. In fact, let's just get rid of everything and we'll start from scratch. Um, the whole point of the roof is you're going to find like the boss of the south wing. Um, most of our bosses have been on either the top floor or the basement floor, and it holds true here as well. Um, we are going to keep this little area here as well as the brick wall, um, but I'm going to darken this as we go because we want that to appear like it's further down. Don't need these statues, don't need these. Let's do that piece right there. And let's see, let's actually see if we can't expand that real 
quick. We're, we got a portal there, so let's cut that path and go back into here and move that up to there. There we go. And let's do let's do some painting stuff out real quick just to get stuff done. So we're gonna snap this to the grid. Make sure that we got this stuff rid of any stuff that we don't need here. Um, we're probably going to do a variant where we have this stuff over here, but at least the the basic stuff we're not going to keep here. And we know that we're going to be losing that spot right there. It's either a screw up or something on the other layer. Yeah, it's on the other layer. Or, I'm sorry, it's a screw-up. It's a glitch. Um, Alright, so then the next thing that we're going to do is kind of section off the areas of our castle battlements, basically. Our ramparts. So let's get here. And a lighter one there, a darker one here. Um, and then after that is... Right, we got this section here, which is a 5x5, five five. then we got another 5x5, five five. then we got another 5x5, five five. and then this is all one piece, I think? Let's see what we got. We got a 9x1, and I think that's way too big for 9x1. No, no, I'm sorry, this is okay. So let's do that math real quick. Yep, that's perfect. Let's do, let's go even darker if we can. And then that kind of establishes that you're getting into a kind of dangerous situation as you go. All right, let's do a real quick save. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know where that came from. Um, and since we're saving anyway, uh, and it's gonna take a while, let's go to our ad real quick. We're just gonna do a 60 second ad today. And I'll talk through this because you never know who's getting it when. Um, I'll just kind of figure out what's going on, and then I'll have my timer going off in the background to make sure that everything is doing what it's supposed to, and because I don't want to see that blip right there, we're going to go back in, and it should be away. Away with you. Out foul spot. Alright, so everything looks good now. Um, we do know that we're not going to be seeing this over here for the same reason that we wouldn't see... Um, on the first floor, we didn't see this piece over here. So let's do a uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to grab this so that I can edit the nodes. Let's do this. Move you over here. snap that to the grid because that's not looking as tight as I wanted it to. There we go, that's better. Alright, and let's do we'll do one more line across. So we're actually not going to see those stairs there. And actually with that in mind, let's do this as well. Let's grab piece again. Let's put a node there and let's cut. Oh, you know what? This will make it easier. Alright. And it's over. We'll do the uh, the quantum quest advertisement a little later. I don't want to bother everyone after that last one because that one came out of nowhere. So we're going to switch that down to there. So we'll get rid of these guys real quick. And let's go and keep things the same color here. So we're going to go back to our brush, do our brightest set up here, and we've got that, and let's do uh, I feel
feel like we're going to be okay to do this here. Let's go and get our shadow. And this is going to be a little tricky, I think. I don't know how well we're going to be able to make this work because the wall certainly comes up above this. And I, if I hit apply, it just goes over top of the wall. So not quite what I want to do. Let's, um, we're going to grab that again. We're going to take off the snap to grid. I'm going to try my darndest to kind of fit things into this kind of frame. We're going to miss some itty bitty tiny bits, but my hope is that it doesn't look totally outlandish and it's going to help by the fact that we're only going to do like a semi-transparent shadow. I don't think that that looks too bad. I think uh, it's pretty well founded. You can't see it kind of going into the walls or anything like that. So I think that's pretty good. Let's grab the pen tool and we're going to not grab stairs. We're going to grab the castle. I think let's do let's do a slightly smaller set and we'll see how we like it. Snap it to the grid. And go all the way up, all the way around. I'm going to try something else real quick just to see what it looks like. So if I go down first, I think that's the way that we want it. We want to actually have it go the opposite way. So let's take that away. We're going to do it one more time with the pen tool, but instead of going um, over to the right first, we're going to go up from the bottom left corner because we don't want those Merlins and Krennels to be facing in. We want them to be facing out. So let's try this one more time and see how it looks. Much better. Um, let's see. Although, let's see. Those kind of like spinny turns don't look super good, at least down there. Let's do, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to try this one more way. So instead of doing it like that, let's try and do it as a shape. And we'll see if it plays any nicer. I might still have to do this again because I have a feeling that it's going to be... Yeah, it's facing in. One more time. It's all a bunch of learning. We'll hold it. Now it's facing out, and we should have that spinny stuff. Yeah, so now at least it looks consistent, which is one of the things that I value the most, is consistency. All right, let's go back to our map real quick. So, all right, Misery, she wants a voice change. Misery, what kind of voice can I do for you? Do you want the golems? You just tease a golem and not do it? I can't. You spent a thousand quest coins. I can't just tease it. I'll ease it. Okay. Sirs, what we have here is one big piece of the Krenners and the Merlins. We have them right here. I forgot to put on my timer. I only do this for a minute. Okay. We're gonna do these things again. We're gonna make sure the snaps to goods is on. <coughs> um, we'll put some caps on. Maybe not. I don't know for sure. That doesn't look great. I'll have to figure something out. Oh no. I do not like this. Right, we're gonna try something different. My map is precious. We want it. Okay, so. 
Maybe we do the concrete wall for the roof of the castle. That doesn't look terrible. Okay, that, that's it. That's a minute. That's all you get. <laughs> Thank you for spending a thousand quest coins for that. Alright, so we'll, we'll do that little bit of concrete there. This little bit of concrete here. Alright, you can, you can hear... You can hear me stop to drink the water. And you can hear the, the water bottle crunching. I always feel bad doing a hydrate because, well, especially when it's hot up here because it's like, oh, he was going to hydrate anyway. Liar, you don't believe me. Well, what am I supposed to do to prove it to you? What am I to do? I love drinking water. Why would I not drink it? <laughs> Alright. What we're going to do is a big chunk of this area up here is starting to crumble away. Um, and I want it to be so that the adventures make the unbreakable vow. What is the unbreakable vow? What crazies is you speaking of? Uh, let's see, we're going to go to, excuse me, 50%. We'll start making our way down. I don't know enough about your your shenanigans. All right. I was actually on the top layer. We need to go back to the background layer. And let's start to kind of color this in. Mixing fandoms. Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Lord of the Pots. Sounds about right. I realized while I was at work the other day, I was thinking about, like, the stuff that I do for this channel and everything, and I realized I haven't used the Wacom tablet at all um, over, like, the past, like, two months. I don't know why. It's just something I've noticed. We do need to play Harry Potter vibes only, guess who? And then we eventually need to make the Telst vibes only, guess who? Okay. I want this really looking crumbly. Um, those who were, uh, were paying attention to the first floor, we definitely did um, a couple of spots where, like, debris was falling in from the, the roof, so... We're definitely trying to expand on that a little bit. Let's go down to 25. We're going to keep on doing it, especially in this top corner. I don't want this to look like it could cave in at any moment. We'll do a little bit around in other areas. But certainly over here I want to make it look precarious. Up here a little bit. So when my adventure is played, they didn't have a situation where um, anybody fell through this area of the roof, but it was a possibility. And I like my boss fights to be dynamic and everything like that, so the boss would have fallen through with them. And it would have been like a, a juggernaut situation where it would have been stalking them through the rest of that floor. Let's go down to 10. And then once we're done with this pass, we'll be... We'll have done a, a decent amount of work on this floor. So what we'll do from there is uh, I'll hit save. And instead of you watching just dead air as it saves, we'll, uh, we'll go to our, our Quantum Quest preview. So, 78 changes, save, Quantum Quest. Now that our Twitch channel has reached affiliate status, we can start to do some really cool things. One of them is inviting you to play our tabletop dungeon diving game, Quantum Quest. Using our channel points, called Quest Coins, you can queue up for one of our forthcoming Tabletop Thursday games. In addition, as we amass more followers, we'll continue to add new ways for you to use your Quest Coins. Join us, and see if you can escape the Living Dungeon.
All right, so we should be back. Um, I am not going to make a single other change to this map just yet, because if I do, we're going to have to save it again. Um, I'm going to figure out what to do with this section. Uh, but for now, let's go back to our first floor. As I was thinking about it uh, when I was driving home today, we have this extra little area of the first floor. And I think what we might do... I've got these extra stamps that we've been making, and we were talking about, like, if you're in the airlock chamber, someone hearing, like, a hammering sound. And, yes, we don't have, like, a good armor golem that we can use, but there's no reason that we can't use a statue. So, I figure what we'll do is we'll grab our statue, and instead of it being a huge statue, we'll just make it a kind of medium-sized statue. So, is that going to be bright enough? Yeah, that's, that's good. So let's do... Shrink it down even further. And the idea is that this thing looks like it's just frozen in midair, but it's uh, it's been hammering away at something. So we've already got the... Um, We've got a square pedestal for it when it's uh, when it's in the golden scale cliffs. So let's try something a little different. We'll give it a hexagonal pedestal. There we go. We'll do something like that, and um, the idea would be that this thing is hammering something. I don't know what. Um, maybe what we can do is put some cracks in here too and this could be another way for it to for the adventurers to go even further we know that there's a trap door up here and we know that there's the stairs that lead down here to the uh, the basement level of the forgotten keep south wing so maybe we can do another thing here let's do instead of doing the brush layer let's go back to our fantasy battle maps uh, i'm in the brush layer we're going to go back to our stamps. And let's look for crack. So I just noticed um, from our partner these quote-unquote hell cracks. Um, if you take them like this and go into your advanced settings and move the brightness down, you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. So you don't even really notice that it's fire or anything like that. So what we'll do is a couple more of these. So we're going to make it look like the, the dwarf, if someone pays attention, uh, they realize that the dwarf is causing these fissures in, uh, in this room. We'll do It'll almost look like lightning strikes on the ground. There you go. Just something like that. Nothing too crazy. And then let's accentuate it with the uh, with the cracked layer. So we'll go into... Yep, that should be pretty good. Still on the background. And let's start to... Maybe not the full 100%. Maybe we'll go a little bit bigger on this one. We'll keep it in line with the cracks. Pretty good. It's different. It's uh, it's a little bit better than nothing for sure. Maybe actually, what we can do is make the cracks themselves not so prominent. Maybe we can. There we go. There we go. That looks really nice. I think. All right. So we've got that second new room constructed, and we've got some lore to go along with it. Uh, we still need something in this area, so let's try and put our thinking caps on real quick and figure out what that would be. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, think, think. So you've got a door that clearly leads up there. Um, maybe we can do... Let's do... We've got the desk there. Got all kinds of tables and everything. 
Let's do... We'll hide it behind a bookshelf. We don't really expect anybody to really be thrown off. In fact, maybe we even put a broken bookshelf there. Let's see. In fact, that one's even better because you can see they, they're scroll tubes, but they almost look like, like swords a little bit. Okay, that's 90 degrees to the left. So let's do, let's make it look like it shifted out of the way. Um, maybe what we do, actually, let's make it a little bit more horrific too. Uh, let's see. So let's do this. We'll go to the Gothic horror section. This poor guy, he got squished. And then let's make sure that he's not too tall. I don't think he is. He's pretty good. Actually, I think... Oop, I got a sneeze coming up. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's move him over here. Because then the trick is, did this guy do something to him from over there, or is he not actually affixed to that pedestal? Something to think about. And... You're a rat. A feast for rats. right for the buttocks. And then let's get a little splash of blood in here. That we'll put under this poor sucker. And let's do the same 45, 136, 75. Oh, I think that's wrong. 136. Not one. One thirty-six. And seventy-five. There we go. It'll look a little drier at that point. That's pretty good. Alrighty. I think what we'll do is at least for the first floor. Let's do let's do some fanfare, shall we? I'm going to hit save, but we're also going to hit. Huzzah! For whatever reason, it didn't save. I feel like a goof now. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to keep the basement for another day. Um, I'll probably do that off stream, and it'll just be part of our package. Um, what we're going to do is when we're ready to, we'll put all three of these maps together on Drive Through RPG. That will get us to, I think, 100 maps on Drive Through RPG. In the meantime, let's uh, let's take a look at some of our other maps and figure out what we're going to do. Probably not a huge amount right now, just uh, just some some getting some stuff in place for for a little bit later. We'll do some stuff tomorrow, like I said, off stream. Um, tomorrow evening, I know that I'm going to do some prep work for the tabletop Thursday that we've got scheduled for the 20th. That is our very first uh, Quantum Quest Live that people will technically be able to queue up during. Um, so I am excited for that. But um, 
tomorrow after I'm done doing like whatever prep work I'm gonna do. I also want to try and get some kind of variety gaming going. Matt is in California right now, so I don't have uh, the good fortune of being able to play like a new game with him or anything like that. We do have a game that he got me that, uh, that he wants to play together that's kind of like a, uh, a co-op adventure game, but we'll save that for another time. Okay, stay away from the bigger, bushier bushes. And we're going to kind of start to build a circle. What's going on over here? Well, that's strange. For some reason, my tablet decided to go to Hulu or something. Kind of strange. Kind of weird. Um, so the, the whole premise of this part of the uh, Savannah map is we're going to do... Is this actually... Is the volume kind of up? Or is it just making weird noises at me? Don't mind me. Just losing my mind a little bit. Um, we are going to kind of enclose this area a smidge to make it so that it's like a nice place for a camp to be created. But I kind of like the idea of it being like a circular pattern, and then the bushes are kind of helping to stave off the elements and things like that. Let's grab some of these guys and see what happens when we start to move them up. We might have to go from top down, because it'll look better that way. You'll notice if I grab these and do them underneath, it's a much better, much better look. So we'll keep doing that. We'll go left to right as well, and that ought to make things look nicer. And I can actually just go right over the road and then take these away. This is a good start for us means that we don't have to do a crazy amount of work to get all these things in. That's why it's a good decision to uh, to always expand. If you're doing another map, to always expand and not start from scratch. Definitely need to put the bushes higher than these things, though. For sure. Let's do that there. a reason for that. I'm going to put, make get rid of that bush and put a rock there instead. And let's grab kind of like this last line here. And that kind of blends in a little better with the, uh, with the other stuff. Let's keep it going. manually fill in that spot over there and manually delete this stuff over by the road. And then we'll figure out what our other points of interest. The fact that we have just the one got me a little bit worried, but we'll do like the quadrant thing. You can see that here we had kind of the, the four corners and then um, we'll probably just do two or three things and then figure out where our, our big fourth object is going to be that there just to kind of remind me, hey, there is a road there. It blends nicely. Like, I just got chunks of this stuff, but it really does look nice. Go there, and I'll delete the things that I don't need. should be a nice overlap once I move this last set down. And delete whatever I need to. Alright, so we're going to grab that set right there, and kadoink. And it blends pretty nice. So, 
let's grab the road. And actually what we can do is scooch these guys over. Anything that's in the road can go out of the road. on the leg too long. Okay, let's just actually delete some of these guys up here. down again. Get those ones right by the road. So at this point, I think, with the exception of the Enkindled Brotherhood, which is the last big campaign uh, for like the first, or I'm sorry, scenario for the first arc of my personal campaign that I'm running with my, my friends. Um, all of the maps, I think, that I need to complete for the next like 50, set of 50, I think, are already in the, the queue. Like if you go back to my main screen, which we'll do prior to wrapping things up tonight, um, they're pretty much all, all set. Like we still have to do a lot of work on them, but we at least know kind of like the, the, the runway. We know the plan. So that is pretty cool. I'm excited to, to have a game plan. I'm excited to be able to kind of work our way through it and, uh, and get us closer to the, uh, the new Kickstarter. A lot of people liked that uh, that first campaign that we ran, and I feel like you'll like it even more if there's an additional 50 maps that connect to the addition, you know, to the older ones. Um, and on top of that, they, uh, you know, you, if you miss the first one, you can get the original 50 maps pretty cheap. They won't be quite as cheap as they were for the original campaign, but it'll still be very affordable. But we'll get all your maps all in one place. And we got some extra surprises because we have those new uh, collaborators that we've been working with, and I think that they'll go over pretty nicely. Nice stretch goals. Affordable stretch goals. I think it'll go over pretty well. So this path definitely narrows the further up you get. Can you grab that one without causing any problems? I think I can. And let's put another one over there too. So what about this guy? Nope. You need to stay where you are, young man. Let's do another one there. I definitely do need to clean up some of this stuff over here. Let's bump up the boosh. 248, that's a lot of changes. So let's do this, we'll, uh, we'll save. And uh, we'll, we'll instead of going back to the main screen, I don't think anyone's clamoring too much for it. Let's just do a show closing. And then, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll probably be back tomorrow in some fashion if I can, but uh, we'll, we'll get there when we can. So folks, on the screen right now, you should see all the places that you can find Telus out there on the internet. Telus.com is a great first place to start. It will lead you into the direction of so many of the other projects that we do. Um, but if you want to go and get some of the premium stuff that's related to tabletop, you can find that stuff on patreon.com slash Telus. Those are our digital versions of these maps. We're up to like 92 maps plus 260 variants. And obviously we're adding more all the time. I try to do at least one a week these days. And uh, because of the, um, the addition of our partners, we're seeing that happen a lot more. 
But if you want to see physical versions of our maps, you can go to telus.etsy.com. That's where you can find these beautiful um, uh, polyester 20 by 40 maps, uh, 20 by 40 inch maps that look great on a table uh, for your campaign. And you can get them in, uh, in bunches and kind of have them lead into one another, one another, especially if they are all part of the same zone. At this point, we have a couple of zones that have, you know, four maps or more. And, um, and things like the Forgotten Keep that we were working on earlier. They have multiple floors, things like that. So it's very cool. Um, you can also check out our TikTok channels. TikTok.com slash at WeirdWitchWands is where you can find Rihanna's handcrafted one-of-a-kind magic wands. We, are, uh, we officially got the invoice uh, for our acceptance to the Doylestown, uh, quote-unquote, uh, Bucks County Renaissance Fair for late August, early September of this year. Uh, so we will be showing those off there as well as our maps and the Tellus books. And you can also find our doggies at tiktok.com slash at Tales of Tellus. Uh, really quick jumping in to say that, yes, the man do want his Chalky Milkses. Um, the last two places that I'll bring your attention to are the YouTube channel, which is at World of Tellus. That'll bring you to the Talking Tellus that we have and the, uh, the making maps that we, we create on Tuesdays and Wednesdays after Twitch uh, has run its course with those videos uh, after a certain amount of time those videos will drop from the twitch platform uh, but if you do want to see us live and uh, you know use your quest coins and chat with us and just see what's going on you can go to twitch.tv slash that tells guy that is going to wrap us up for today but i thank you for joining me and i may see you